Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. The All Achievement Challenge uh, playthrough, where we're trying to do every achievement in the game in one playthrough. Uh, you'll notice that about 30 cycles have gone by since the last episode. I did do some stuff off camera, uh, mainly just um, rocket missions, because the rocket, the rocket uh, achievement, the mining achievement one is going to take a long time, so I just wanted to do some of that off camera. Didn't really change the base around too much. So now we're at 224 of a million. It's still going to take a long time. We're going to need more rockets for sure. Uh, the, each rocket can only do 20 tons in a run based on the drill, the diamond drill, the drill cone. So um, I, I'll go over what I did though. Um, let's see here. Not many changes. Uh, let's just see. If I can remember what I did. Oh yeah, on Redani, I kind of re fixed up the power grid a bit. So I did heavy watt to wire along here. And I just realized they can't reach this, so we're gonna do some tiles along here, I think. So they can reach up there. Actually, let's just do this all the way across. Make it nice and uniform. Get that going. Uh, so yeah, improvements to the power grid. It's still a little bit, little bit spaghetti-ish, but we got at least transformers now and one big backbone running up the side here, which will is kind of hidden away, but not completely hidden away. Uh, I moved over a few things here that were in this room here, the medical or the hospital clinic, hospital, <laughs> not the medical clinic. These things were over here. Now they're moved over a little bit. Um, down here didn't really do much. We're burning ethanol for power for this circuit. But ultimately, this thing should be on the backbone. And this circuit should be on its own transformer. So we'll probably do that soon. What else did I do? I don't I don't think much other than that. Just some rocket missions. And little odds and ends cleaning up and stuff. So this episode, I want to try to get to Snowini. Uh... The one issue with this place is the radiation. It's pretty severe. I kind of want to keep this here and use it to make rads to be able to send the rocket back. So what I might do is just build tiles around it to try to shield it a little bit. But I'm thinking of landing two dupes on this planet in exosuits so they can breathe for a little while. Build a ladder up here, build a deconstruct their landing modules and then build a rocket platform right about here. Or maybe off to the side here because there's quite a bit of clearance here for that uh, rocket, but we need to we need to build another rocket. And I was starting to build one, putting the nose cone on there. We need uh, some more ladder. Let's speed things up here. My voice has recovered a little bit, so bear with me. So yeah, we got two Trailblazer modules. Let's make sure they got their landers, yep. We're gonna need a couple dupes to send, one a pilot, and we actually have some missions ongoing here. We got one rocket returning from here with some uh, 20 tons of stuff. And one still digging here. It's almost done. It's strange that the cargo can hold 27 tons, but the drill head can only drill 20. So it's really kind of strange. Not sure what the developers were thinking there. But we did need to fill out the inside of this thing. I haven't put anything inside yet. So we'll start that process. We're gonna move this command module. I, ooh, ah, someone came right away. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try to use a ladder bed this time. And, but I'm gonna use a similar layer to our other rockets here. Uh, that ladder bed I might have to raise a bit actually. Might wanna raise it, because the CO2 level, hmm, I don't even know if we can build tiles here. Let's try, airflow here. Is that what I want? You know what? I might just copy the exact same rocket design just to make it simple. Yeah, I think I will. Just because I know it works and I don't want to encounter any problems, so we're going to do it exactly the same. Um, or should we change it up a bit? You know what? It's working. <laughs> don't break a thing that's working is my motto. No innovation here. <laughs> We'll just uh, copy what we had here. So we got that, then we got a door. 
Guess we can unpause here. Put a door here. And I think we'll use a mesh tile all across. And we'll put some plastic tiles up here. I think I kept one space for the power thing. Power outlet up here. Copper, copper should be fine. I don't, I don't know if that's in the exact same place. No, it's over one. I guess that's fine. Okay, Liam, uh, are you back yet? Okay. Potato's back. Potato, get in your suit. I can't imagine the micromanagement with uh, having ten, like 10 rockets going. Potato Petty. There we go. Now we'll land this sucker. I can't see a, a nice way to automate the rockets, to be honest, just because that's so micro -y and they gotta refill the food and refill the oxygen stuff. There goes potato. Okay, what about the other rocket? Is it it's still digging, I think. Yep, yeah, still digging. Nope, it stopped digging. <laughs> we will bring it back into orbit. Cycles are bleeding away here. Let's slow things down while we plan. Plan things. Um, okay, the inside. Yeah, let's check in here. I'm gonna put a phone booth. Phone booth, mess table, fridge. So let's get that going. Phone booth. Mess table. And fridge. That will need... Oh, actually, I don't know if I'm, if I'm powering my fridges or not. Because we're putting pretty much non-perishable food in there. We'll try to not do it for now. We don't need the telescope, but uh, we might as well build it in there. There's no harm building it. That's probably under rocketry. Stick that there. Uh, where's the container for the oxalate? Right beside there, okay. It's going in there. Mavic Rock, I guess that's fine. Uh, let's change the priorities on this so they get it done. We need the wall toilet. I think that's under rocketry. Uh, maybe it's under plumbing. The, wall, the good old wall toilet. We love it. And we need um, one of these things. A hand sanitizer. It's probably under medical. Stick that there. There's all the hidden bits. We need a, a pipe going in. Let's check this one. It comes in from the top and just kind of snakes through and goes to the wall toilet. So we need that. Started on the wrong side. <laughs> we'll just sneak it like this. Okay. That's in there. Let's make all the seven. Go full speed till they get it done. We also need a door here somewhere. Okay, command modules. Next. Right here. And I think we have a door here. Is that what I have? Command module door, yep. And tile right here. Anything else we're missing? Oh yeah, all the ventilation stuff. Let's turn this on. Get rid of that CO2. So we need a mini pump. Mini pump down there. I can find it. Ventilation, mini pump, right here. I think that's facing the right way. Actually, let's double check. 
What do we got here? Yeah, it's facing that way, then through a sensor, vent, and through. Okay. Try to copy that. I know there's a blueprint mod, I'm just not using it, so we're going to do it all manually. It's good practice, right? So that's like that. Up and around. High pressure vent. And a gas element sensor. And I think we're detecting oxygen or CO2. We're detecting oxygen. And opening the vent based on that. Yeah, it makes sense. goes uh, there. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Um, I did record the footage of me doing all this stuff off camera. I'll link that in the description to a unlisted video. I didn't want to like promote it because there's no voiceover. But if you guys want to see what I did off camera, that will be there for your viewing pleasure. Okay, we need a way to send water to this rocket. And actually, we don't have water going to this rocket either. We had a water line here. Hmm. Kind of need to branch off. Branch off. Uh, I could branch off here. I'm not really using these platforms anymore, except for the petroleum rocket. How the heck are we going to do this? Um. Hmm. I need to get over there. Uh, but I don't want all the water going there. Kind of want to split it evenly. We can do it right here, actually. Split it off here. This is in the way. Uh, we will remove that tile. Come up this way. Sandstone. Let's use something a little bit more robust. Obsidian, maybe. Actually, igneous rock should be fine. And then we'll bring this over this way. And up. And that's going in here. Let's go like that. And then we'll branch off again. Hopefully that pipe is okay. Go in like that. That may not be reachable. Let's see here. Yeah, I think they can stand on top and get it. I haven't really checked on the other asteroids much in the last while. Let's just double check that everything is okay. Got some gold. We'll take that. How's everything going in here? This is all the ethanol we have left feeding those plants. So eventually those will, the nosh beans will be kind of retired. Uh, unless we produce ethanol here, which I don't think we'll do. This ethanol will eventually get used up as well. That's being burnt for power. I think we have enough solar power now, though. Oh, I did do a little change here. Off camera. So I added a, a, a liquid filter. I'm going to empty this tank. So the polluted water we're sending to these bog buckets, which I'm trying to mutate. Uh, with these uh, wheeze warts. I don't think I've gotten a mutation yet, but we'll try. Actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, that should be fine. And then we could probably put a few more in, actually. But this water is going to run out. I'm also taking some of the... I decided to scrub some of the CO2. And the scrubbed CO2 polluted water comes up this way and just gets dumped back in this tank. Once this tank's empty, I'll probably just remove all this and just change this one pipe into here. So that's an idea. Should probably put another one of these in to increase our chances. This should actually maybe be a little farm station area as well. Yeah, we could put, um, we could make this a proper farm, I think. We just do this. 
I'm gonna put a farm station in here. We're still farm stationing this up. Are we still a fertilizer? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so we got that going on. Let's finish off that rocket. Once we get through the saving here. Okay, we got this, the food. We want a special bits of food going in. We want berry sludge. Things that don't rot quickly. Uh, nutrient bars are safe. We don't want 100 kilograms of food. We're going to send 40. The reason for that is uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna need some quite a bit of food on here. You know what? We might just crank this up to sixty or something. What else can we bring? Some charred hearts. I don't know how long this preserve lasts. I'm gonna assume it lasts a bit longer than normal. Let's see what we actually have on here. We got lots of berry sludge. A bit of grub fruit preserve. Oh, excellent fruit. Yeah, let's send that as well. Because it doesn't rot. Excellent in there. Get that filled up. And we need oxalate in here. Let's, let's send uh, 10,000. A lot. We're going to use that on the planet for oxygen. So, consumable ore. They might have to live out of the rocket for a bit. We don't have our bathroom because um, we don't. This this vent messes it up, unfortunately. But other than that, I think I'll set this to the left. We got oxygen in there now. That's good. The pump is not powered. We need some power in here. Let's do that. Oh, and I want to switch for this as well. But let's do the power. F Actually, let's do the switch first. Automation. Priority nine. So we can turn this thing on and off. Manually. And the power. Otherwise the food, some of the food will just slowly rot. We'll hook up the fridge and the pump and that's about it for now. Okay. This actually went together faster than I thought it would, to be honest. As we got everything. Oh, we don't have any water in there yet. That'll be a problem. So we got the pipe being built. Let's send in some water here. What do we got going on here? That branches off. This we don't... Oh yeah, we still need this. We just want to send some water through, but not too much. And that's what this meter valve is for. So we're going to send... Uh, I don't know, like 200 kilograms. And I think I have a switch here. No, I don't. Okay. For some reason, I removed the switch. Probably because I didn't understand how it worked. But we want to put that in there and make sure the switch is. What's its state right now? It's sending green, so we want red right now. Maybe I just moved it? I can't remember what went on here. The reason I'm only sending little bursts of water is I don't want the uh, the water to sit in the pipe and freeze. Maybe I'll set it back to 50. Because it's going to get spread over many different rockets there. Let's flip the switch on and off, send a bit more through. It might not be in risk of freezing anymore because it's, uh, it's still pretty chilly here. Let's see how that water spreads out here. We can probably send a lot more, actually. That's going to get stuck. Actually, no, I've got these vents to dump the excess water. So we'll be wasting a bit of water doing that. Unfortunately. I might cut this pipe for now. Right down here. 
this pipe still has yet to be built. Is it reachable? Yep. We've got radiation. What from? Oh yeah, the CO2 levels in here are getting pretty high, but I think the CO2 will kind of navigate down here, get really cold, and turn into liquid, as it's doing, I think, down here. Because it's still minus 70 at the bottom here. So as long as the pressure in the base remains high, I think we'll be okay. And what are we doing over here? This is open. That's getting pretty full, but that's okay now. Quite blocked. Yeah, we filled up all this water. And how's the power going here? This this is the only thing running, I think. The ethanol is occasionally being burnt for power to make more ethanol. <laughs> that's kind of funny. We're burning ethanol to make ethanol. I've kind of heard that these are not super efficient. We might be better off just burning wood instead, instead of going through the whole uh, petroleum. Because we, but the the nice thing about this is that we get dirt out of this polluted dirt, so that's a plus. It's giving off a massive amount of heat though, which may become an issue longer term. As long as the heat doesn't spread into our base too much, we might want to insulate this this area here. Let's do that as a low priority thing. Yes, rock priority one. Just to build build a little bit of a heat shield between these two. Uh, just in case it gets really hot down here. <clears throat> okay, how are things going? Let's check that rocket again. We've got water. No, we don't. <laughs> What's going on here? Right, we gotta send water. Uh, sometimes I'm a dummy. Okay, let's maybe max this out. Come on, save. Uh, we'll set this to max. And we'll let it rip a couple times. Still running? Trying to get up to 500. That might be enough. Let's check upstairs here. We need a few more rads in this rocket, so let's uh, flip this switch, which will send some rads up. There are lots of rads stored away, which is kind of a good thing. Maybe we'll flip that one more time. Now, I might use the pilot that I've been using on this rocket pilot this. I think that is... oops. Potato... potato what's potato skills like here? Potato, potato. Potato is pretty much just a pilot, so actually not too... not too bad in terms of um, uh, resources. I do want to build... Oh, I made these trail laser modules out of lead. That's probably not a good idea. Uh, actually, it'll be okay. As long as the... Yeah, the platform the platform can be out of lead. I want to bring some other stuff along, though. So we're going to actually store... We're going to put some storage in here. And we're going to get some plastic, some steel. Just some miscellaneous things. Oh, I can I select the filter here? Oxygen. Turn that off. Actually, let's make sure it's working. Uh-oh. It's not working if that's sending... Oxygen outside. Oh no, it, it'll work, it'll work. Okay, that's good. Turn it off. <laughs> okay. Let's first get some... Industrial ingredient. No, manufactured ingredient. Plastic. I think I'll get like 10,000 of... Maybe not 10,000. Actually, we can fire fire stuff to them later. So we'll not, we won't bring too much of this. 
but I'm going to fill this up and then unselect it and then we'll do that with steel and a few other things that we might need. Since we just have the one container. Okay, we got plastic. That's probably enough. Turn that off. We'll take get some steel. Probably don't need that much steel. Let's see how much we have on that planet here. I do want to bring some glass. Uh, steel, 29 tons. Yeah. I think I need some glass. Oh, we got some tofu. Mm -mm. We're a little low on food, actually. I'll take the tofu. What is going on with the food here? What is going on with the food? We have fertilizer. Mushrooms are growing. Oh, I guess I just chucked a bunch of it in the rocket, so that's probably what's going on. Okay, let's make... Um, some more glass because we'll want to set up solar panels on the new map so get 99 of those made oh and my rocket uh oh it's probably back by now it is back so let's go inside Liam you get your suit on Okay, we got the suit. Let's land. Here she comes. We'll just get this rocket going back and forth to the planet. Or the, ast the asteroid fields. Okay, how are we doing in here? We got steel. Let's dump that out. Oh, I just had dizzy spell. Um, okay. We got steel. The glass might take a while to get going here. Probably don't need as much as that. I think uh, 1600 is probably good enough. That's uh, eight solar panels. And I think we have some other. We got metal here already. We got some wolframite we can use. But not a huge amount. Probably want to bring some basic metals for uh, a heavy watt wire. Because we have to establish this colony quite a bit, because this is where the end game stuff comes in. There's this laser thing you have to uh, you have to fire off. Yeah, how are we looking here? We finally have our water in here. What's going on with the water, game? What's going on here? It's sitting in the pipe. Did I do this right? Oh, they couldn't reach. They couldn't reach the top there. Okay, understood. Understood. You guys can't build it. This rocket's almost ready to go. Food's a little bit lacking, but we've got lots of um sleep wheat there. So we can make food out of that, as long as we have a cook. Okay, so we'll get this built, get some water in the system here. So we got steel, it's pretty hot, that's gonna cook this place. 97 degrees, god. Hmm. <laughs> that is not good, actually. That's gonna heat the rocket right up. And the glass, oh god. It's gonna cook this rocket. 33 degrees and rising. Mm -hmm. uh, let's put some ice in here. Let's put some ice to cool this back down. We'll just mop it up after. But uh, I want to I want to get some ice in there because they won't be wearing their suits most of the time. Okay, here comes the water. That's good. And we want some regular metal. I'm gonna stop delivering that glass, I think. How much do we have in here? Let's just double check. Glass, uh, 200, that's not enough. 
you know what? We'll shoot some to that planet. We'll set up, um... Yeah, we'll fire, fire it through the space. What else do we need? Uh, lots of basic metal, I think. We want, um... Metal ore? What do we have lots of? What do we have lots of? Let's see here. That's refined. Uh, what do we got here? You know what? <laughs> um, gold amalgam, 32. What the heck do we build regular stuff out of? Regular metal stuff. Um, not that. Okay, we got lots of cobalt ore. So let's send a bunch of cobalt ore. A metal ore, cobalt ore, we'll send lots. That'll be for wires and stuff. Oh, that's, like, that's gonna be too much water. Oh crap. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I made a problem here. <laughs> Heck, am I gonna get this out of here? Oh boy. Um, hmm. We have a leak. Uh, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> oh, that was way too much ice. Um, man, we're gonna have to suck that out of there. I'm gonna have to remove some stuff to do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we stick a pitch a pitch a pump in there? I don't even know. Well, I know what we could do. Let's put a regular pump in there. I'll have to deconstruct this. Put a regular pump and we'll just chuck it in this line somehow. No, that's not gonna work. Because there's pipes here. God. What was I thinking? What on earth was I thinking? Um, that's not going to fit in there. Jeez. Hmm. Well. What happens if we remove these? Will this fall out of the rocket at the door? I don't think so. That's what you get for trying to cool down the rocket. Well, this will slowly get used up. <laughs> Not fast enough, though. Uh, maybe we can do, um... Let's take this out. What happens if we put a liquid reservoir in here? We're still gonna, still gonna have a problem, though, because this all this piping is in the way. Oh my gosh. What have I done? What have I done? I've created a mess. <laughs> Uh, let's stick that in here. <laughs> God. Oh, you know what? You know what we can do? This is the output. We can put a pump here. and pump it out this hole here. What a nightmare I've created. <laughs> Man. We need power to this rocket as well, to the battery. So we better get that going. Put some steel here. go. Reachable. Yeah. Somehow I spent the whole episode building a rocket. <laughs> I guess that's what happens sometimes. 
Okay, we can put the telescope back, I think. So we're gonna pump this out this hole, as long as I have a ladder here for them to reach up here. Wow, I was almost ready to go and then I made a mess from my own, my own doing. Just to try to cool down the rocket. So that'll go back out the output port. I think that'll work. I can put this back here. And unreachable, because this plastic's in the way. We'll get rid of that. Let's put this one back. Okay. Now we wait. Check the other rockets here. Oh, they're making, uh... Why are they making frost buns here? They should not be making frost buns. Not at all. All the sleet wheat should be going... off to the other planet. Ingredient. Yeah, it is. Okay. I guess they nabbed some to cook before they had a chance. Send it off. And why is this food on the floor? That food should not be sitting on the floor. I haven't gotten a mutant out of these guys yet, unfortunately. We do have greenhouse now. That's progress. Are these, uh... Yeah, they got farmer's touch. Good. CO2 is kind of trapped. That's okay, though. But we'll put airflow. What do we got? Omelets. Mmm. Got enough food here. So maybe somewhere else needs it. Ah, they're good for food as well. The main planet's looking a little bit low, so maybe we'll grab the omelets on the main planet. I thought I'd uh, get to the other planet this episode, but it might we might not be able to do it. Radiation. are okay here. We're still making ethanol. Oh, this thing overpressurized. I wanted to suck the salt water out of here. And where's that going? Nowhere right now. Let's, um, let's do a bridge here. Actually, we can't put it there. We gotta put it over here. So we'll go up here. Dump it here. Gold should be fine. Yeah, I want to suck some of the water out of here so that this thing wasn't overpressurized. I might have to move this pump down, actually. Down one. Because I want to clear the water, but not all of it. I want to a thin strip of water at the bottom to keep things cool. So we'll put the pump here instead. And put the power down there. That should be good. Okay. Back to the rocket. How are we looking? We have the pump and we've... It's not going anywhere. This should go out. As long as we have a thing on the outside that has a place for the water to go. We need an output here. Um, let's just do it here. Bridge and event. Oops. Oops. 
Okay. Actually, that gold amalgam might melt when the rocket takes off, but this is temporary. Just to get rid of that water in there. It should just disappear when it hits the vacuum of space here. Good way to destroy liquids if you want to, if you want to get rid of some nasty liquids or solids. just Or liquids or gases, just bring them up here and they'll get disintegrated. That should clear that line. There we go. And we still got some rads coming through here from this one right here. I'm going to point that upwards for now. Okay, let's check this thing. Getting rid of that water. Okay, good, good, good. Don't worry, it'll mop a bit. That's good. So... Everyone loves this space toilet. They love squirting their stuff out into space. <laughs> okay, let's rebuild the radiation shield. Make sure our rooms are still good. Well, wow, everyone loves it. It's like a attraction. Okay, let's turn this pump off. Actually, let's deconstruct it. That's probably good now. Right away. Right away. And we gotta remove this pipe right away. So I don't want to blast all the water out. Actually, it's probably too late. Okay. Put this back in the, in line, and that's gonna go over here. That's gotta go. What's with this toilet? <laughs> oh weird, I thought, I sorry, I thought I was at the hour mark and I was just, the font size for my uh, timer, for my OBS has this ridiculously small font size and I thought I'd set up 58 minutes about 20, 10 minutes ago. We got lots of time left. I thought the episode was almost over. At that time it literally flown by again, but we're at 42 minutes, so this is good. We'll get it done. Oops. As long as the dupes uh, cooperate and I don't make any stupid mistakes. Not promising anything there. Where's that water going? Is it going back out? No, okay, good. <laughs> Scared me. Okay, we'll squirt a bit more water back through. Actually, something weird going on there. No, it's just coming the right way now. Okay, good. Let's, uh, let's send some more water through. Real quick, I'll shoot another another bit through. Where the hell where the hell is my thing here? Uh what the heck? It's up here somewhere. It's right here. Let's flip this again. Let's send another burst of water. Something is happening in Radani. Radiation, I think. Everything's fine. They're good. Viger Lee. Voyager. I think this is a joke in the Star Trek 1 movie. Viger. I don't want to spoil anything though. <laughs> if you haven't seen that movie. <laughs> That's my guess what that is. Viger. Anyway. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the first Star Trek movie from the, like, the late 70s. Well, 500 kilograms, but it got split off. Whatever, it's probably enough. Okay. I want to get this rocket going here. 
Who are we going to take? Who else is going to be on the crew of this uh, mission? Liam will be our pilot. No, Potato's going to be our pilot. And we need a digger. That boy, I think we're gonna bring that boy. Let's see, what's his, what are his skills like? Where are you? This is alphabetical. So you are here. You like carrying, plumbing. I think it'll be good. We'll maybe send some dupes in using the portal as well. Uh, so let's change our crew here. We're gonna send that boy as well. Is everything okay with this rocket? Are we ready to go? No destination, no con oh, control station. We might want to build a control station. That might help. Rocket control station. Temperatures, well, I think we'll be fine. Things will normalize out there. So we got that, we got oxygen, we got food. 10 tons of oxalite, I think we'll be okay. As long as, as long as stress doesn't get them. And we've got some cobalt ore. Anything else we don't get we can fire over. Okay, I think we're ready to go here. Let's set uh, crew. And let's get this thing underway. Let's check our rooms. That's all good. Not much decor in here. We could have added, added some statues and stuff, but oh well. Okay. We want their suits off right away, because we need the suit full of oxygen when we get to the other planet. And here's Potato. Welcome, Potato. Get that suit off. And you're a little bit chilly. I'm sorry. Well, there's water in this tile. They weren't able to mop that out. Oh well. Uh, should be fine. Let's set our destination. We are gonna go to Snowini up here into orbit. Six tiles. And we ended up we have enough fuel to get back in case things go really bad. I think we should launch. I think uh, I think it's time to launch. No warnings. Off we go. To a new world. A new frozen excited. I hope you guys are excited. That might take a while for them to get there. Let's see. 2.4 cycles. Oh, we should blast through that pretty fast. I did want to let them in here a little bit. Let's let's allow them to come back in here and build, do some building. They're, they are going to get radiation poisoning, but a little bit never hurt you too much, right? Probably, I want to see this done right away, so let's just do this. We do need power in there. We'll worry about that later. What are they doing? Are they? Can they get in here? What did I just do? They have a path in there. Yep, they should be able to go in here. Unreachable build. Oh, yeah, they can't get up there without this. That's kind of stupid of me. That's kind of stupid. Come on, oops. I did get a recommendation to make, um like rad suits around here out of the bedroom and I still could do that but I think I'm just gonna make them suffer a little bit they will get slight radiation because this thing is uh, a significant hazard but we're going to use this to make rads to do something. Probably to fire stuff back off to the other planet. I think that was the idea. We're actually going to need a... Um, 
rad joint plate thingy. I need plastic for that. We got no plastic here. So let's send some plastic over to this planet. We got it being loaded here. This thing is pointed at Radani. Good. It changes from glass to plastic. And this thing should be good to go. Does have any. Oh, it's waiting for more mass. I need to turn something on here for this to go. Uh, this got melted again, I think. Let's make this out of steel this time. Let's replace it all, because it's probably going to melt. Okay. Should be good soon. Looks like it's rebuilt. We can flip the switch. Let some more material through. Off to Radini. Radini. Okay, let's put the sucker. That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. What's going on here? Oh, it's set to the wrong port. We can also reset it here. Okay, there goes some glass and then plastic, and that should fire off. I don't even need this. You know what? We can just hit this hit this instead. It's a lot easier than hitting a button that does the same exact thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's check our our voyagers here. 1.3 cycles. Viger. How are they doing inside? Oh, they're chilling out. Should have given them something to do. Any little, little things we could give them to do? Oh, we could give them, um... Beach chair. Oh, we don't need fiber here. Oh, well. Espresso machine? No. <laughs> they gotta share a toilet. But at least they're being sanitary. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We only have one mess table. Let's add another mess table. We only have one bed. Gosh. Didn't really take that into consideration. <laughs> Don't usually have two dupes. One will just eat on the, eat on the ground. Okay, this one's... Liam's. Let's make this one... Actually, this should be... Potatoes. This should be that boy. I think they got the runs. I think they got the runs. We'll be there soon. Uh, so what's the, what's the game plan when they get there? Uh, deconstruct the modules real quick. Put them in their suits first. Send them down. Deconstruct the modules that they land in. Build a ladder up here. So we'll, we'll prep that. Well, we can't prep it yet because they're not there yet. Maybe up to here. And then build the platform to the side here. And then that should leave enough clearance for the rocket to land. So we'll try to get it landed as quickly as possible. They do have building materials here. The robot, the robot helped them out last time. Okay, 0.7 cycles. I also want to do Floodado at some point, but not this episode. We got to get established on Snowini first. And I don't know what to do here. All the all the gassy moos died that were in here. I don't know why. They just di disappeared. They they were living in here, and now they're all gone. But up here, we've got a bazillion. They've been multiplying up here. I don't know how. This one's very stuck. One good thing is that they've been turning into food, which is in deep freeze. So we'll have tons of meat when we go here, just sitting around. 16,000 calories sitting on the ground there. 
Another 16,000? Another 16,000? So, that's good, but... We're gonna have to somehow get them back in here. <laughs> Should be fun. I think maybe we can use a flying critter trap. Maybe, and then they can wrangle them down back into here. We're gonna have to do liquid locks here. I guess out of chlorine, because everything else is gonna... Actually, it's not that cold. We could use... Petroleum. If we brought some. Actually, petroleum might freeze solid. Petroleum. Let's go to the bottom of Wagani and see. Petroleum. Freezes up. Yeah, minus 57. And this is minus 74. <laughs> I guess we'll make a liquid lock out of liquid chlorine, maybe, somehow, magically. We'll figure it out. Uh, hopefully there's a source of natural gas here. Let's just see if this is natural gas. That is a chlorine gas vent. Okay. Uh, well, we'll find out. Hopefully there's more chlorine. Is that paused? Oops. Hey, it's cycle 888. Super lucky to some people, if you believe in that kind of stuff. Uh, that rocket should be there any moment. Let's just check. It is almost there. Oh, two cycles. The moment I've been waiting for. Hopefully you guys have been waiting for. Maybe I should have had a telescope. We could have scanned here well before we landed. Could we still do that? I think we maybe could if we have the materials here. How's the battery charge? 100 kilojoules. Let's put that telescope back in. Oh, not enough room. That thing's three wide. Okay. You know what? Mm, I just want to get these guys landed right away. We can build a telescope on the surface for them. But we should be there now. 24 seconds. Now, we must get their suits on. Let's slow things down after they get there. We have to coordinate this properly or people will die. Well, dupes will die. Okay, in we go. In we go. Suits on. Time to, time to rock and roll. Uh, potato. Suit on. Oh, these tubes are really irradiated. I better better go get them out of that place in a second here. Tato, get your suit on. And that boy. Where are you? Oh yeah, alphabetical. Maybe. Where the heck are you? What is with this list? It's like. Where is he? Can I scroll by him? There he is at the bottom. Okay. Suits are on. You got a little bit of oxygen in your suit. That's good. Okay, before we send them down, I gotta make sure um, I'm not killing my dupes here. Let's let them out, but not in. Eeh! Not looking very good there. <laughs> Get out of there. I'm glowing. Starting to grow a third eye. Out you go. Okay, let's land. Let's land these guys. Select duplicate. Potato. No, let's send that boy first. Deploy, deploy, deploy. We're going to put them right down here. Is that a good place? Uh, should, there's no building materials there. That might be risky. This is radiated over here, but that's fine, I guess put it here. Please don't crash game. And this one will deploy right away as well. Deploy, deploy, deploy. Being deployed. Okay, uh, down we go. Okay, you got your suit. <clears throat> Soar back. 
let's build this. Actually, you gotta deconstruct this first. I think we can safely go medium speed. Welcome, new explorers. So we'll deconstruct these, get our metal. And then we're gonna build up here. And I think that's probably a safe spot to put the rocket, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, we're gonna put a rocket platform. Oh, we can't build it yet because we gotta get rid of this. Where are they going? Are there build orders down here? I was just having a snooze. Okay, now we can build a platform. Rocket platform right here, I guess. Uh, maybe up one. Now I don't see them wearing their suits. Are they breathing okay? Uh, they're, not, they're not holding their breath, are they? No. I just can't see their uh, helmets. Yeah, this thing is giving off a lot of rads. That's going to twitch them out quite a bit. Uh, that's not good. But what are we going to do? Got to get this platform up. And we got to get them safely away from the rocket. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to get completely fried. We also need an airlock here, desperately. So let's remove this, and we'll put an airlock here. I can't tell how much oxygen they have in their suit from here. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, we're going to cover this up as well. Mafic Rock. Let's do a, a little, um... Hmm. We need a way around this thing. How much Mafic Rock do we have around? Well, they can go down and get some. Let's just build a, a wall here. To try to block that. And then we'll build an airlock here. Oh, we got no metal for an airlock. Okay. I almost filled in that tile. Okay, let's bring the rocket down now that they're down there. And hopefully this doesn't fry this ice. We're gonna find out in a second here. Oh, we're good. The liftoff might... Oh, it melted some stuff. Okay. <laughs> it got a little warm. Okay, that didn't do much for the radiation blockage. You know what? I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna deconstruct this thing after we rummage it because it's just giving off so many rads and we can we can get rads from this thing down here instead so I'm gonna change my mind there we need to get them up here inside the rocket real quick as well uh oh okay we're gonna rummage this real quick rummage and deconstruct oh I don't even know if they're gonna be able to demolish it I don't think he has the talents for that Demolish. Uh, I think we need to give him. Someone needs demolishing skills. Uh, construction, demolishing. Hmm. Well, this might stress them out, but we need it. I'll take a. I'm gonna take a disabled disinfect on that thing. Yeah, they're not happy. Okay. I think, look at them, they got so many blisters and crap. Okay. Okay, they should be able to get back in the rocket now. Um, but let's think about building a base in here. These things are in the way. These things are... They're great for... Um, wow, it's pretty irradiated in here. Pretty irradiated. Um... Where should we build the base? I'm thinking maybe... 
We could build it in here. Keep them away from this for now. Let's build some tiles here. Maybe we'll do a double layer. Get that in there. They have access to the rocket now, so they'll be okay for food and oxygen. Don't stand there. Oh my gosh. Oh, whatever. You do you, you do you do you. Get get completely fried while you do this. See if I care. I do care actually. The suit in their oxygen is gonna run out. So I should probably be careful of that. Why would you Oh my god. I guess they're going for the mafic rock, but are you stuck there now? You should have a way out. Oh no, you don't. You should be able to get through here. Oh, this is too high. Okay, get out of there. We're gonna seal this off completely, actually. Uh oh, uh oh, don't die. Don't die on me now. Let's check inside, make sure they're okay in here. Oh, they look pretty, pretty, uh, ruined. They'll recover though. When does this, how long does this last? Athletics minus four stamina, bathroom speed, that's all fine. Doesn't say how long it'll last. Soiled suit, yikes. <laughs> no one likes soiling their suit. Not recommended to soil your suit. Actually, I don't want this ladder here. There's too many Weez here as well. Let's get rid of them because they're just giving us tons of radiation. Uh-oh. You better not actually build that there. So we'll get stuck. Just get out of there, you dummy. Get out of there, you dummy. Okay, we're gonna put a tile here instead. They're probably gonna stand here to build it. Probably. Like, complete little dummies. Okay, we need metal for our airlock, but let's see what he does. Good. Smart. I'm impressed. The snow's not blocking much radiation. 21%. We'll just build like a double wall here. Or a triple wall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> God. Okay, get to business here. We need metals. We have metal in the rocket. They should be able to get this stuff. But maybe they can't build it when it's sitting in the rocket. Oh no, we got airlock now. We're good. We're good. Let's use a powered one. Because we'll eventually want a powered one. Yeah, they're, they're, now that the rocket's landed, we're good. I want a straight ladder here, so we're going to go straight down through here. I do want to continue to shield them from this monstrosity. Oh yeah, they have no air. <laughs> Let's make this a six. Let's get the airlock built first. I guess there's a little bit of oxygen here still, so that's good. I guess they can probably take their suits off. So much so much vomiting. Yeah, you guys can take your suits off. They're not helping anymore. Got the vomit. Breathability, yeah we know. We know there's nothing to breathe here. Nothing to breathe. It'll be fine. Once we get this sealed, we can start opening up some of these pockets. Like down here. This is stressful. Starting a new colony is a stressful job, I, I understand. I, 
understand, little dupes. I understand. Okay, now I've gone way over time. All the excitement here. Uh, this is Sparty. Let's make this a one for now. Jeez. Well, we got the airlock in. Um, probably want to get to this oxygen here pretty soon. So we'll crack this open. When they... High stress. Oh, crap. 61%. Oh, no. Um, hmm. <laughs> hmm. That could be a problem. Should we go back now that we got the platform done? I think we might. We'll give them a little rest. And then we'll come back. Because it's not a long journey. We got some of the infrastructure there. Maybe. Otherwise, they might stress right out. Um, <clears throat> what are morale requirements like for that boy? Oh yeah, there's a slight disconnect here. <laughs> they got... Yeah, this is it's gonna be a disaster. Hmm. We gave them too many skills. Let's go back. We chickened out. Actually, maybe we should build a printer first. Not a bad idea. Mm. We could try to get a massage table up real quick. Don't think we're going to get it in time, though. We got some serious issues here. 64%, 65 Yeah, we got to get out of here. Oh. And potatoes at 47 Oh my gosh, we got to get out of here. They're just gonna... We can't have them lose their stuff. Okay. We are gonna leave. Pronto. Crew. Change. We're going back. We're just gonna land, because the suits are empty anyway. Uh, time to go, guys. Time to go. Get back in. Time to go. Get back in the rocket. Right away. Right away. Why are they not going in? Exhausted. Oh, crap. <laughs> God. Oh, God. 69%. Get in the rocket! Go in the rocket! I demand thee. Go in the rocket. You dummies. Get in there. It's time to go. No, get... Oh, my. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We're, we're gonna make them build a tile in here. Like their life depended on it. Oh, they're not set to. Oh, they're not set to crew. This is such a. Oh, I hate this setting. It's. I'm gonna call it a bug because I think it's a bug. But when you launch them down through the um, the thingy, it it dumps them off the crew. So when you go to leave, uh, they don't get back on, and it really causes some havoc. They're gonna lose their stuff. Um, well, we gotta launch right away. Get back to some saner place. Uh, slight panic here. Lander's ready, fueled. Fueled? There's not enough... The rocket has enough fuel for one day. Yeah, it's got enough fuel. Lift off. Hello? Do it. I already pushed the button, didn't I? Pilot requested. There we go. Jeez. Max stress. Maybe that'll be the episode title. Max stress. Uh, let's get a massage table, maybe? Medical? Medical? Uh, 
It'll re remove this room bonus. But it might make them, uh... Stress out less. If they can actually build it. Who needs it first? That boy. You are... They are not having a good time. Get on the table. Get on the table. Get on the table. Get on get on it. Get on the table. Get on the table. Get on the table. Get on the table. Get on the freaking table. Get on! What the hell? I wasn't aware that it needed to be in a massage clinic to work, but maybe it does. If so, we may have a complete option, like, complete disaster here. Yeah, he's starting to lose it. Starting to lose it. Mmm, that's not good. And we lost our room bonus, so we're going to deconstruct this. It is recommended. I don't think it's necessary, though. I think they're capable of getting on here. has to be in a massage clinic. Okay, things are going to go off the rails here, I think, quite dramatically. I guess we'll remove this since it's not working. But I think they might uh, lose it here. Once they hit 100, bad things are going to happen. Not that bad things aren't already happening, but... What's his uh, stress reaction? Destructive. Oh boy. He might just knock the wall out of the rocket. <laughs> he might just start destroying the rocket, which would be a disaster. Let's preemptively build an extra tile here. In case he bashes this wall out. Are you going to build yourself into the wall like a real smart dupe? We got here. Let's we got lead. Let's put some lead here. Oh, that'll trap them in there. Ninety-three percent. We could jettison them out of the rocket. Ninety-four <laughs> percent. This is not good. <laughs> oh god. Let this be a lesson to you. Don't let your dupes stress out. Okay, since they're upstairs, I think I'm gonna just seal them in here, because otherwise... Oh, no. Otherwise they might bash this wall in. There you oh no, not that wall! Not that wall! Oh crap. <laughs> not that wall. <laughs> Someone. Save the rocket! Save the rocket! Yes! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's getting bad fast here. It's getting fa bad fast. No! Don't do it! Kill the fridge if you want to kill anything. <coughs> oh no. Oh my gosh, look how fast he's going through it. Where the hell is this rocket? Oh no, it's so far away. Oh, this, we might be losing some dupes here, folks. I'm sorry. Oh boy. Oh, he's building back the wall. Okay. Oh no, not that one. 
Oh, maybe he can't destroy it. Maybe he can't. Oh, it's indestructible. Oh, good. Good. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's good. Oh, you just bash away there. You bash away. You bash away until we get home. you know I guess we can remove these oh boy well hopefully we'll make it home soon it's a dangerous planet to land on danger especially when you have lots of skills oh I guess their stress reaction got them back down to a normal stress level that's good Is this radiation gonna last? Be nice to know. Okay, clean up your mess. What about CO2? Okay. I think uh, I didn't realize that they fixed the rocket thing. Let's get some rad pills ready for them. I know I'm going way over time here, but uh, let's build some rad pills for them, shall we? Slime lung. Coal. You can only make 30 of these. Okay. Food a little bit low. Radiation sickness is actually a real thing. <laughs> it's a real it's the real deal. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up there. I think they're gonna survive long enough to get back. That's potato stress uh, thing. Vomiter. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here with these, uh, our intrepid explorers who both did not do very well. They didn't punch a hole in the rocket, though, so that's... that's a positive. Otherwise, they would have been sucked out into the vacuum of space. Hope you guys enjoyed that stressful episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.